Come on, Lanka. Let's go. Well, got my buddy, got a Mennonite buddy that mills lumber. So I got a bunch of 1 by 8 by 8s and a bunch of 1 by 8 by 12s. And while the wood isn't here yet, so what I usually do is I stack wood up to build walls, but the wind's coming and I want to sit and enjoy beers by the fire and be protected. So I think I'm going to build some walls for this woodshed create like a little mini outdoor porch cabin type thing. And then the front will be a stage and wood, woodshed and all that kind of stuff. So you're just gonna watch me work, that's it. Get these saw. Yeah. Oh, you ate popcorn that was on the ground, eh? That's why you're yakking. Always keep your wood elevated off the ground, otherwise it's going to rot. Stack it so it doesn't warp. Stack it nice and even if you can. Don't be a lazy slob. Do everything piss poor. When I say one baits, these are real one inch cuts, not that three quarter inch shit that you get in the stores. This one I might use for a spare. I had a crappy one. Where is it? So you got to use for, oh, here it is down here. It's split, so I'm going to use it for a strapping kind of. So this, that one and the other one, I think I'll do that. What you chewing on? Wood? These aren't eight feet. These are about eight feet, one inch to eight feet, two inches. So I got lots of room to play with. This is the one. It's got a couple splits in it, so I'll use this one to... So if you can see, because this brace and this brace is elevated, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put strapping here, uh, here, piece here, piece to the top on both sides, and then what I'm going to do is put the board straight across like that, just to match kind of like this look here. Ok, 
Okay. see how these are already warping they're fresh cut well like I'd say within the last couple weeks and they're already warping in the Sun here they were on a pile when I picked them up so you want to stack them and have the weight on them I mean I really don't care if it warps too much this is just a, this is just a wood shack it's nothing fancy so who really gives a shit when you think about it I don't know if you can see the frost shining on these boards. But she's uh, beginning of October. She's getting cold. Okay, let's see. So I'll tell you something about supporting small businesses and saving yourself money. All this lumber here was only 112 bucks. 112 bucks. That's it. So, and that's that's Canadian. So American, like that's probably 75 bucks worth of lumber. That's it. Like, you guys know a guy who's got a mill. You got to use it. Use that resource. Okay, what am I gonna do? We gotta think about this. What's gonna happen here? Sharpen up my little pencil. Carpenter's pencil. Okay. <sighs> what are we going to do? Now, this woodshed hasn't been leveled completely. It's not bad. Okay. So if you start building with an uneven building, <laughs> once you start trying to level your pieces of wood, it's going to be crooked all over the place. But I think this big opening I might try to save for a door someday, so I might put a brace. I bought these poles out of the bush, me and my dad cut. So I might put a, try to put a, bowl, a pole here and a pole here so that I can use them if I ever want to cut the door. And I have those to put some stuff to, but maybe I should just start by putting trim on the sides, putting some strapping on the sides. I think that's what we'll do. Get that done. Need my tape measure. Okay. That. Well, what I need is two poles, so let's get some poles. Let's 
some of the poles we cut are dry and some of them are still green but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna uh completely debark them but i'm just gonna kind of scrape them a bit i mean it's just a woodshed it doesn't have to be anything fancy so i got these old antique scrapers i'm gonna see if they're they should work still just gotta sharpen them up a bit i think Which one am I going to use? Maybe this guy. Keep him out of the rain. Just nosy, Linky. Just nosy, eh? Hey? All right, let's get some poles. Yeah. Let's see. This one's pretty dry, so just scrape it down a bit. We got to measure, make some cuts. You guys want to see that up close or not? Let's see. Yeah, you can. This is good. You get the gist of it. Don't worry, you can't get too close and cut your balls off because these are going to stop. <laughs> Not that your balls are any good at this age anymore. So this is an antique that was given to me as wall art that I had no intention of using. But why wouldn't you use it? It looks like it's all, if you look at this, it looks like it's hammered and forged. I don't know if you can see that. This is old. I don't know why I'm trying to do this so much. This is just supposed to be a woodshed. Don't need to make it so pretty.
greener than I thought, which makes it easier to peel, which is good. There you are. Remember I said I was just going to rough do this? Boy, did that turn into a lie. I got one guy. Well, don't eat bark, dum-dum. Look at her eating bark. She thinks she's a human. She always has to try to do what I do. See what she's trying to help me peel now. Okay, dog, whatever. That's fine. Thank you. You guys hear me huffing and puffing like an old bastard? Okay, well, I'm gonna do that to one more. Who needs to work out when you do shit like this? Yeah, one more, cut it. So I'll show you this guy, you guys, this pole. Barked. So what, what I'm going to do is basically yeah, put one here, cut it to put one here, and then I have a back door that I can open to get in and out of, like, and then seal off the front. Hmm. See how it goes. But it's a plan for today, anyways. Yeah.
I think that's it for this video. So I'll see you guys next time. Say bye, Lenka.